Good morning and thanks for joining us. We had some more storms roll through yesterday, but compared to Sunday, it was a much quieter day out there. Uh, the really only significant report that we had uh, was around West Plains. There was some flash flooding. There were some low water crossings in West Plains that were flooded and barricades uh, were put up, so you might have that maybe slowing you down this morning. Other than that, not too bad. Sunday, uh, the oldest surveys were completed yesterday. Uh, we now have six tornadoes confirmed from Sunday evening, four of them up to the north and west, and then uh, two of them down to the south and east of the Springfield Metro. The four tornadoes that were confirmed uh, up to the north and west were in Barton and Vernon counties. Those were all uh, pretty brief and weak. An EF0 near Sheldon, also an EF1 near Sheldon, and then we have that EF0 near Milford with 74 mile per hour winds and an EF0 near Verdello with 70 mile per hour winds. All of these lasted about one to two minutes with winds from 60 to 75 miles per hour and some trees were uprooted in this area. The two stronger or at least more significant tornadoes were to the south and east of Springfield and EF1 in Aurora with 90 mile per hour winds uh, uprooted trees, took down power lines, even caused some roof damage to two mobile homes and to outbuildings there a little bit more in the way of significant damage around Aurora and then we had an EF0 near Diggins that damage not as impressive as just some trees uprooted but both of these lasted 15 to 20 minutes this tornado in Aurora took a path of over nine miles and again it lasted 20 minutes so for them being fairly weak tornadoes they did last uh, a while the front that dropped those tornadoes is now to the east we're still wrapping around cloud cover into the Ozarks but for the most part we're dry of of the rain we just got some drizzle and maybe some patchy fog out there this morning. Again, not incredible returns on the radar, but it just might be a little bit drizzly this morning. Uh, we've got some clouds lingering. It's mostly cloudy for much of the area, and we do have some patchy fog as well. We're down to five miles visibility in Springfield and nine in Rawa, so just take it easy as you head to work and school. Temperatures are starting in the upper 60s at 68 in Springfield and in Branson at 67 in Rolla. We'll have temperatures be much cooler than normal today. 89 degrees is the average. We're going for 81 for a high, so on the cool side for August. We'll have clouds linger today, a little bit thicker this morning. We might uh, clear out some of those clouds by the afternoon, but I still think that we will remain partly cloudy as we head through the rest of the day. Uh, we keep some drizzle, maybe some fog until about 11 a.m., especially up to the north and east, and then we'll start to clear out these clouds by the afternoon with temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Uh, a couple of clouds overnight tonight with temperatures in the middle 60s and then by tomorrow we bring back some more cloud cover. We'll stay dry though. Temperatures in the upper 70s to about 80 degrees. Rain chances don't return until Thursday and Friday. We'll bring back a couple of storms and the temperatures will stay cool through the work week in the lower 80s through Thursday. 90s return by the weekend. 81 today with a mix of sun and clouds. 63 overnight. Cool and quiet. 80 tomorrow. Pretty similar to today but still on the cool side for August. Bring back storm chances Thursday and Friday. Summer-like weather returns this weekend.